Hope you're ready to go today, folks. The theme of our day is let's lift, and we are going to get after it. Penguin, Pickle, Katie, my lady, Colby, Wolfie, Knott's Berry Farm, Dinger, Judge Jr. We're going to get after it today. So get ready. Get ready. That's right. We're going to start taking the weekends off starting tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday. Hang with your family. Do what you want to do. So on Fridays, Jake, Baseball Warrior, we're going to lift. We're going to pump it up. Welcome on in, everybody. Judge Jr. had eggs and toast. Knott's Berry Farm, Dinger. What did you guys have for breakfast? Uh, go tell some friends, hey, it's the last class Coach Ballgame's going to do till Monday morning. He takes the weekend off now, so uh, get it in. Colby with a breakfast sandwich. Jake and Colby, both with uh, epic, uh, epic uh, efforts last night, as did Judge Jr. in the trivia contest. But our winner was ZV Slugger. That was fun. Welcome in, Jay Milliken. Our next trivia contest will be Sunday night with uh, starting nine podcaster, major league pitcher, uh, works at Barstool Sports, and he, he calls games for the Oakland A's, Dallas Braden. Um, Dallas Braden and I will be hosting Sunday Night Baseball Trivia. You won't want to miss it. Green Monster and Mr. Angel in the house. It's been a while. I've missed you, Green Monster and Mr. Angel. I wore your socks the other day. Uh, they had pancakes, strawberries, and milk. My mom and dad are in the house. We've got a joke-telling contest that will happen at the end of the day, but we're going to lift. We're going to get after it today. I hope you're ready. And I hope you had a good breakfast like Knott's Berry Farm did. Jay Milliken in the house. Eastern Randolph Wildcats, baby. Let's go. Jay, I need you to tell all your Eastern Randolph teammates to show up right now for an epic workout with Coach Ball Game. Let's go. Get after it. We're going to crank it up in 30 seconds. Tornado warning in uh, Florida. Is that what's going on in Tampa right now, Pretty, My goodness, by Sam was the answer. Get in that foxhole, Jay. What are you going to do? Send out a mass text? Are you going to send an email, a Facebook post? How are you going to tell your friends? Nolan Ryan Jr., you have to leave at 930, Nolan Ryan Jr.? Is that an everyday Zoom for you? We'll get this workout in. Let's start marching. Start marching. Um, once again, welcome. There's baby ball game, the older baby ball game. Just doing a quick cameo. She's in and out. Um, we set up our backyard yesterday, kind of like a water park. We, we got one of these blow up pools and, uh, we, 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 we just, we, we hosed them down with a hose. Because it's, it's a little hot. It's going to be a high in 93 here in California. And three claps. One, two, three. Dominator's in the house. That a boy, Dominator. Arms high. Show off those armpits. Sniff your armpits. Oh, my armpits smell like deodorant. With a little bit of cinnamon. A little cinnamon-flavored deodorant. Oh, baby ball game's armpit smells like cereal. Touch your toes, don't pick your nose. And nice and wide, smell your left kneecap. We're going to get after it today. Let's lift is the theme. And we'll have some competitions. Can you beat Coach Ballgame? 
Smell that left kneecap and then switch it over. Switch it over to the other knee. That's right. And side to side. Come on now. That's it. And pick those strawberries. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three. 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 On your V-Hawk is butterflies. Let's do this quickly so we can get our epic workout in. We've got a lot to fit in today. We're going to do our two-minute jog. We're going to do our cones. We're going to do our can you beat coach ball game baseball diamond. And we will do our seven. We'll do all that before the joke telling contest. Make a V. Nose to your left knee as you touch your phalange. Friday is trash truck day. They're picking up the trash. That's that loud sound over there. Switch. Touch your right phalange. Touch both phalanges. That's it. Mind leg pose. Left leg out, right foot across. Twist and look behind you. If your back pops, what do you say? I heard you, Mr. Angel. I heard you, Green Monster. You guys said, oh, my Lanta. Hug that knee to the chest. Say, I love you, knee. Come on now. Switch. Other way. Twist and look behind you. Your best view is on YouTube. You get the entire backyard landscape view, but we're also on Facebook and Instagram. Hug that one in. Say, I love you too. That's it. That's it. Downward facing dog. Upward facing dog. Roof, roof, roof. Half moon. Baby ball game's trying to do this. I think she's out of frame. I don't think you can see her, but she's right there. Switch. She's trying to do this. And up to your feet. Hustle salute. Come on now. Hustle, baby. Freeze. Faster. Freeze. Fast as you can go. And spin around in a circle. Fast as you can go. And freeze. Three claps. One, two, three. Arm circles. Start small. Get bigger. We're going to get after it today. Emma. Ball game. She's crawling. She's exploring the space. And switch. Go back. And across. Hug yourself. Hope your shirts are tucked in for this epic workout. Try to stay with me throughout this thing. It's not going to be easy. Move the neck around. But when you show up for your next practice, whenever that may be, everybody's going to say, whoa, did that guy get stung by a bunch of bees? Because he's all swole up. Ten jumping jacks. Ready? Exercise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two-minute jog. On your marks. Get set. Go. Two minutes, ladies. Jog. Run, run, run. Two-minute jog. Welcome in. Knott's Berry, Danny Hughes, Liz Erickson, Preeti, Lando's in the house, Chad Crawford, T. Martin, Meander, Team Ravine in the house, mustache salute. If you don't have enough room to run around, then just run in place. Run like this and get your knees up, just like that. Got to get the heartbeat going. I'll give you a little music as you go. Keep running, keep jogging. Keep running. That's it. Super Henry is in the house. Welcome in, Dave. Hey, don't give up Knott's Berry Farm. Don't give up Nolan Ryan Jr. Stay with it, Green Monster. Mr. Angel. Keep going, Dinger. Keep rocking and rolling. 
Penguin and Pickle, and Grandma Squeaky Cheeks. Trevor Young in the house. At a boy, Trevor Young. Don't give up. 20 seconds remaining. And then we crank up this epic Let's Lift workout. Five, four, three, two, and water break. You got 30 seconds. Drink some water, deep breaths, and then you'll be setting up your cones. I've got eight cones. If you don't have cones, you can use socks or you can use empty water bottles or cups or anything you wish. Anything at all. But we're going to be zigzagging through these little obstacles. Chugging contest, go. Deep breath in through the nose. Slowly out the mouth. I feel like somebody's staring at me. Oh, it's Mr. Determination. Mr. Determination is telling me to get determined and get fired up for this epic workout. Join me, folks. All right. I hope you're ready. We're at the end here. Again, this is our last workout of the week. We're going to take the weekends off for the rest of our time together at the virtual PE class. So let's make this our final uh, epic workout of the week. Follow me, zigzag. Boom, 10 quick jumping jacks, fast as you can. And 10 push-ups, fast as you can. All the way up and down. Thanks. <laughs> oh, yes. Speedy round and then a 30-second water break. I've got my biggest fan, Mrs. Ball Game here, just staring at me. Eating and Eating a bagel, staring at me, and talking. It's great. <laughs> but her shirt's tucked in, so it's all good. Welcome in. All right. Deep breath in through the nose. Let's repeat. Rinse and repeat. Do the same. <laughs> On your marks. Let's go, baby. Let's lift. Get set. Go. Zigzag. Zigzag. Boop. Ha. Hey. Hey. Boop. Ha. Speedy. Jumping jacks. I love this. Speedy push-ups. I need these morning workouts to make my brain feel good. Get those natural endorphins going, baby. And a water break. See if you can beat me at these guys. Jamie Brown and Trevor Young in the house. See if you can beat me at these exercises. Zigzags, 10 jumping jacks, 10 push-ups. We're going to do set number three after our little water break. So you can text and let me know if you beat me. On your marks. Get set. Go. Zigzag. Stay on your toes. Keep your head still. Stay on your toes for these jumping jacks too. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and ten push-ups. Man, and good. Nobody beat me, or at least nobody typed that they beat me by the time I was finished. I'm fired up today. It's going to be tough to beat Coach Ball Game, Penguin and Pickle, Grandma Squeaky Cheeks, Trevor Young, Super Henry, Judge Junior. Judge Junior tied me, he said. Uh-oh, Cheese beat me. Cheese Colby beat me. Another tie with Nolan Ryan Jr. My mom tied me as well. Knott's Berry Farm, Dinger. 
Fridays are always a smaller group. Uh, so for those of you that do show up on a Friday, absolutely. Judge Jr. is asking if you have to wear a shirt. You do not. I do. You do not, Judge Jr. Whatever's going to make you better. M9 Baseball in the house. Mustache salute. All right. Back to the start. All right. Brand new deal. Now we've got the frog jumps. Frog jumps. Follow me. Go. Frog jump. Up. Up. Stay on your toes. Sit on that toilet and then springboard up. Very nice. Body squats. Boom. Ten of them. Fast as you can. This is speedy round. And sit-ups. Fast as you can. Ten of them. Wow. Epic. Anybody beat me? That's our uh, first round. We've got two more to go just like that. Frog jumps, body squats, and sit-ups. And I know there's some parents and grandparents out there doing these workouts as well. That fires me up. Great way to start the day. You'll have more energy for the rest of the day. I know I'm a better dad when I work out in the mornings. I'm kinder, more energetic, because my kids, they ask a lot of energy of me. Ooh, Penguin and Pickle beat me. Nolan Ryan Jr. tied me again. <laughs> Judge Jr. showing off the muscles, biceps, salute. All right, back to it. Here we go. Frog jumps, body squats, and sit-ups. On your marks, get set, go. That's it. Keep that shirt tucked in. Keep that smile on your face. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And sit ups. Two. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very nice. As always, get that water break. Threw a will in the house at a boy. Woke up just a little bit late. But join us. Jump into the workout. Oh, Green Monster and Mr. Angel beat me. Nolan Ryan Jr. got me. Man, I was moving slow. Judge Jr. got me. Cheese got me too. Great job. Deep breath in through the nose. Slowly out the mouth. All right, set number three. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Don't give up. Don't ever give up. Jimmy V said that. On your marks, get set, go. Broad jumps. Land on your toes, sit on the toilet, land on your toes, like a Oof. body squats, like you're on a diving board. That's how you springboard out of that frog leap. Oof. Don't forget to breathe during your exercises or you'll get dizzy. Ten sit-ups, hands touch the floor, hands touch your toes. Oh, yes. At a certain point, these workouts become fun, and you look forward to them. You guys look forward to these classes? I do. Nine. And ten. Whew, you should be a little sweaty right now. Way to go, Penguin and Pickle. Welcome in. EDTC. We're getting a workout in Monday through Friday. 
9 a.m. Pacific, noon Eastern, Coach Ball Games PE class. And then Monday through Friday, 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern. What do we got? That's a trivia question. You get a shout out if you get the answer right. What have we been doing every weekday at 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 Eastern? Drink that water. It's not trivia. We've been doing trivia at other times, but we go live for the what? I go live every day at three o'clock for the Sandlot, the virtual Sandlot, where we, we learn how to do skills. Um, yesterday, we had a major league hitter, Trevor Plouffe, teach us how to hit. The day before that, that's right, Cheese, we had a major league pitcher, Rowan Wick, teach us how to pitch. We're going to do another hitting clinic today uh, with an awesome coach in New York, Just In Time Baseball. Me and Just In Time Baseball. We're going to work on our hitting. Next week, Marlon Bird, he's coming to town. Duke Baxter, great coach for uh, um, for fielding, ground balls, defense. So we've got some serious, serious things happening at the Sandlot. Um, that was set number two, right? Or was that set number three? I lost track. Was that our third set of frog jumps? Body squats and sit-ups. I'll wait. That was three. Thank you, Thrill Well. Very good. Back to the start. Let's do one more. This time, you're going to go high knees, hop. High knees, hop through. High knees, hop through. High knees, hop through. Quick and high steps. Quick and high steps, hop through. Quick and high steps, hop through. Quick and high steps, hop through. Now right here, triangle push-ups. Make your hands in the shape of a triangle and take your chest to that triangle and do 10 of these. Seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Very good. Then here, 10 punches, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Use your core. Boom. So again, we're going quick high steps and then hopping through the hole between the cones. Quick high steps, side step through the hole. Good job, Billy D. Cheese tied me again. Judge Jr., Mr. Angel, Nolan Ryan, very good. Get that swig of water. How you doing, Super Henry? Back to it. On your marks. Again, travel on your toes. Get set. Go. Quick high steps, side step. Quick high steps, side step. Quick high steps, side step. Quick, side, quick, side, quick, side, quick, side, quick, side. Very good. Triangle push ups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's the triangle, chest to the triangle. Now it's punch. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. Very nice. Welcome in, Morgan Bombs. Hello, operator in the house. It's our morning workouts. Deep breath in through the nose. Slowly out the mouth. Nice job. We've been at this for about 20 minutes and we've already gotten so much faster, so much stronger um, mentally and physically. Mustache salute to you all. I black salute. Give me one of those. Beard salute. Mullet salute.
Brad Pitt salute, bounce back salute, bravery salute, leadership salute, scholar salute, double bicep, triple bicep, quadruple bicep, sportsmanship salute. Round two. Or excuse me, round three. Third set. Third set. On your marks. Get set. Quick steps. Side step. Quick steps. Side step. Quick side. Quick side. Quick side. Quick side. Quick side. Quick side. Triangle push ups. People are going to be saying, how are they stealing so many bases? How are they running so much faster after the quarantine? It's because you guys showed up. And the punches. You guys showed up. I don't have to beg you guys to show up. You just show up. Love that. And stop. For a coach, it's a real honor to not have to beg their players to be awesome. You guys just want to be awesome. No, you would not, Brian Stronghold. I am fired up. Three cups of coffee and a banana. Whew, I'm ready. Judge Jr., getting a little bit tired. We as a team, when our buddy in Florida, uh, who's got to be inside because of the bad weather, is struggling, what can we do? Type some ideas. What can we do right now to pump Judge Jr. up and, and have him stick with it? Thumbs up, Stronghold. We could give him a thumbs up. Judge Jr., we give you a thumbs up. Say, hey, it's all right. I'm feeling tired, too. You can do it. Another uh, another idea from Brian Stronghold. How about an attaboy for Judge Jr.? One, two, three. Attaboy! Tuck that shirt in, Judge Jr. That'll help. Deep breath in through the nose. Out the mouth. That'll help. Ooh, Cheese says some fun trivia. Maybe we'll do a trivia question uh, to pump you up as well. Nolan Ryan Jr. says, you got this, Judge Jr. Uh-oh, he just took his shirt off and he said, I'm ready to go. Perfect. Love it. Quadruple bicep salute for you, Mr. Judge Jr. Set up your bases with your trash can in the middle. This segment is called, Can You Beat Coach Ballgame? See, this is the dress rehearsal for whenever MLB Network uh, finally is tired of me begging them to give me a show, and they just give me a show. And you can see it now. Now, the next segment is, doo -doo 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 -doo, and the graphics shoot across the screen. Can you beat Coach Ballgame? Hey, I'm a dreamer. Dream big. And if they, uh, if they never call and offer me a job, I'll just keep calling them. Yeah, phone phone call salute. That's right. Okay, folks. We're going to start with our kangaroo hops. Ten kangaroo hops over each cone, and you're shooting your basket in the middle. One thing I want to say about shooting the basket is use your legs. Bend your knees. When you're shooting a basketball, bend your knees. Whew and use your legs to shoot it. If you're just using your arm, no good. Can you beat Coach Ball game? On your marks, get set, go. Kangaroo, 10 of them, five, seven, nine, boom, shoot it. Very good. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Can you beat me, Knott's Berry Farm? Stay on your toes so your head stays still. Five, seven, nine, 10. Ooh, Grandma Squeaky Cheeks is beating me. Penguin and Pickle, come on now. And shoot the basket. Boom. Cheese. Judge Junior. Go big or go home. That's right. Dominator. Billy D. Nolan Ryan Jr. 
Super Henry, Mr. Stronghold, Green Monster. Good job. Way to go, everybody. Get you a water break, as always, in between each set. Very good, very good, very good. Okay, back to it. This time you've got 10 floss dances at each base. Each time your hands go through your hips, that is one floss dance, and you got to do 10 of them. On your marks, get set. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shoot the basket. Boom. Whew. How fast can you floss? Come on, Judge Junior. Hang in there, buddy. This isn't easy. Hang in there. Good thing my shirt's tucked in. That makes me dance faster. And in case you were wondering, yes, I break out this dance move at weddings too. Oh, yeah. Did anybody beat me? Cheese, Billy D, Caleb K, Judge Jr., Josh Rich, Super Henry, Green Monster, Mr. Angel, Mr. Stronghold, my mom, my dad, Dinger, all the real chance is in the house. Way to go, mustache salute, real chance. We're getting a great workout in as always. Way to go, Nolan Ryan Jr. Judge Jr. still in it. Super Henry, at a boy. I'm a fast flosser, yes I am. It's all that practice at weddings. For sure. That's right. Uh, in North Carolina, mom and dad tune in every day. They tune in twice a day for the PE class in the morning, for the sandlot in the afternoon. Way to go. All right. Very good. Super Henry almost got me. Very nice. So I'm going to do one-armed push-ups. You guys can do two arms if you need, or you can try the one arm. But I'm going Jack Palance. Jack Palance um, was an actor, and uh, when he won his Oscar at the Academy Awards, he did 10 one-armed push-ups at the age of 80, I believe. On your marks, get set, go. Ah, how that stuff. Let's switch over to that one. Yeah, the Jack Palance, and there. Woo. Man, Jack Palance was a stud. I gotta go two hands. That's just, it's not even, it's not even fair. All right, 10 push-ups at each cone and then shoot your basket. Let's try this one arm push-up thing again. Oh boy, that's tough. That's so tough. And the basket. Nice. Woo! Was anybody able to do a one arm push up? Whew, that was tough. Are you serious? Did a couple of one arm push ups? Well done. My dad outflossed me. Man, that's tough. <laughs> oh, mustache salute. Judge Jr. did two one-arm push-ups. The guy that was going to give up but did not, we fired him up. We, uh, we were good teammates, and now he's got his second wind. It's called the second wind. You feel like you're going to throw up and have to give up, but then a couple of friends pat you on the back sportsmanship salute and you hit that second wind um nice job mustache salute for you all this is two minutes of what a ball player does two minutes make your bed uh hug your parents 
sweep the floor, clean the toilets, go. Two minutes. Yeah. What are we doing, folks? What are we doing to uh, to make the world a better place and to uh, give our parents a little pump up? What ball player exercise? Cheese just put the dishes away. Very good. You still got one more minute. Go do something else, Cheese. Clean that bedroom. Make that bed. Welcome in, Justice. Welcome to the Coach Ball Game PE class. Weekdays at 9 Pacific, noon Eastern. Mr. Angel, Mr. Angel's mom got a nice long hug. Mustache salute. Very good. Nolan Ryan Jr. is making his bed, making his bed and giving big hugs to the sis, the brother, and the mother. Sportsmanship salute. That's awesome. All right, five seconds, and bring it on back for a team meeting pose. Three, two, one, team meeting pose. Team meeting pose on a knee, shoulders back, poke your chest out. Uncomfortable eye contact, and let's quietly sit in that space for 10 seconds. No talking, staring contest. Go. Try not to blink. Try not to burp. Tie. Good job. So we're about to do our seven. What is the seven? It's those seven hand-eye coordination drills. Now, if you're looking at this on YouTube, you can really see it clearly. I've been asking you to graph your data. Two lines. The one that goes up and down, that's how many repetitions you did. How many high fives of the sky did you do? Did you do 25? Did you do 50? What about the wall drill, right? These calculate how many you get across, right? That's the date. That's the time that you did it. Super Henry, way to share those toys. So if you've got, if you've started graphing your data, perfect. If you haven't, this is what you want to make. A pen, a paper, a ruler, make those lines right there. And I'm going to graph my data today with you as we do the seven. It starts at zero and it goes up to the highest number. And then here's my first date. Today is April 24th. And I'm going to be going right here along with it. ZV Slugger has joined in. He won the trivia contest last night. So let's go round of applause for ZV Slugger. Way to go. And what's our first drill? It's high five the sky. High five the sky. You can use your glove if you want to. I'm just going to go bare hand, uh, and I'm going to let you catch it with either hand. All right? You can toss it up and catch it with your right. You can toss it up, catch it with your left. You just have to catch it above your head. On your marks. Get set. Go. One, two, three, ah. four, five. High five this guy. Meet, squeeze, and freeze. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Meet it, squeeze it, freeze it. Watch it all the way in with bravery. Twenty seconds left.
That's it, folks. Ow! I lost my concentration. Stay with the concentration. Stay focused. Three, two, one, and stop. Very nice. So, now, what do I got? I've got seven different colors. Seven different colors. If you have the ability or the resources to do this, then go get seven different colors. For my high five the sky, I'm going light blue. And I was able to get 41. All right, 41. So high five the sky. I'm going to put the date, 424, and go up to 41 and put a little dot. Boop. And then we're taking tomorrow and Sunday off because it's the weekend. When we return on the 27th, that Monday, we'll see if I can get a little bit more. All right. Next one's the wall drill. Wall drill. I'm going to go bare hand again. Toss the ball up against the wall. Meet, squeeze, and freeze just like that. All right. Raise your hand if uh, my graph is making sense to you, by the way. Is that making any sense? This guy right here. For some of you, yes. What a great, great way to track your data. On your marks, get set, go. Again, step towards the ball. Meet, squeeze, and freeze. If you want to throw it overhand and catch it, sure. There's four. But remember, this catch right here, a cup of soup doesn't count. You don't want to catch it with your body, and you don't want to catch it like this. You want to catch it rough, 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 just like that. Welcome in if you're just joining us. Coach Ball Games PE class. Weekdays at 9. Oh, I missed it. Baseball is a game of failure. Let's see if I can bounce back. How quickly can I turn the page? That's it. Had a great talk with Trevor Plouffe yesterday. He played for nine years in the major leagues. He joined us at the Sandlot. If you missed it, I'll be putting it up on my YouTube so you can see it. But he talked about overcoming failure all the time. You have to. And stop. Very nice. So, hmm, I'm going to go with pink. Now I'm going to go with my pink color for high five the sky, or excuse me, meet uh, the wall drill, and I got 30. So I put a little dot right there. And then by May 15th, when, when I've done about 20 of these, I'll be able to connect all the dots and form a line. And that's why you call this a line graph. Okay, it's backwards on Facebook and Instagram, but if you're on YouTube, uh, you can see it very clearly. Very nice. Wow, 50 for Nolan Ryan Jr. Way to go. Well done. Also, Nolan Ryan Jr. said that that graph is making sense to him. Scholar salute. All right, alligator drill on your marks, get set, go. Alligator, these are ground balls coming at you. Be honk is down. Be honk is low to the ground. Glove dirty, you're forming the triangle with your hand and your two feet. This hand smacks the alligator. Bang. That's it. Oh, this class fires me up. Motivation. Fantastic. Shuffle those feet, get in front of it. Nice. That's it. You got a kangaroo in your pouch. That baby Joey, don't let it fall out. Keep it in your pouch. Good posture up top. You're bending at the knees. Not. At your waist. Five, four, three, two. That's right. Just in time. Baseball. Uh, he'll be joining us today for our sandlot. We're going to talk hitting. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Just tune in. I'm going to go black for the alligator drill. And I got 27. So right here in between 25 and 30, right about there, I'll put a dot. 
for my alligator drill. So far, I got three dots. One for the high five the sky, one for the wall drill, and one for the alligator. Very nice. And let me tell you something. When you're trying out for that high school baseball team or that high school basketball team or that college football team and you show your coach this notebook that you're creating, wow, they're going to be impressed. Soccer juggling, number four. I know a lot of college baseball, college football, college soccer coaches, college basketball, volleyball. I know a lot of coaches, and boy, do they love this kind of stuff. On your marks, get set, go. One, two, three, four. All right, and we're seeing how many in a row we can get. That was four. Four again. Three. I say this every day. This drill is not very nice to me. Got six that time. The neighbor's dog is cheering for me over there. Two that time. 20 seconds remaining. Two, three. This is a good one. Oh, I got seven. Five seconds. And stop. Okay, what was your highest number? What was your highest number? I see, I see uh, my main man in Arcadia, North Carolina is in the house. I'm going to go with red. I'm going to go with red for soccer juggling. And my best number was seven. Billy D, he must be a soccer player. So in between the five and the 10, I put a dot on the date, April 24th. So after four drills, I've got four dots, right? And then you can put the, you can put what each color means down here. Right there, you can put what the red dot means. That means soccer juggling for me. You can put what the green dot means, the blue. All right. All right, number five, you get your basketball out or any type of circular object and figure eight. On your marks, get set, go. How many through the legs? I love that you guys are here doing this. You could just not show up. You could just not come, not work out. Not show up, but instead, here you are. You made a choice. And you're going to be more awesome because you showed up. That's just scientific fact. Come on now. Stay with it. I know your legs are getting tired. Try not to bend over at your waist. You want to keep that baby Joey in your kangaroo pouch. That's right. I love animal references, even though I'm not a huge fan of, of uh, touching animals. Most people think, oh, man, you must love dogs. You must love animals. Not really. But uh, I love referencing them. Very good. Firestones are in the house. First time I've noticed you're here, Ari. Good job. Nala's in the house. Welcome. Global Freeze in the house. And stop. Very good. Very good. All right. I'm going to go with a... I'm going to go with a green color for my figure eight. Green color for the figure eight. And I was able to get 25. So that's my fifth dot, fifth dot for the day, 424, April 24th. And you can see right up here. I know, Billy D, you got a lot on the soccer, so you're way up here on your soccer juggling. Outstanding. Number six, hula hoop. Now, usually these are one of our best. We get the most during the hula hoop. So we're going to put a dot real high up on our graph for this one. And, hey, maybe you can use this as also math class. Right? Maybe your teachers at your school 
uh, if you show them this, they'll say, wow, you've been doing that during PE? Mustache salute. On your marks, get set, go. Can anybody get more than me? Four. Every time it goes around your belly button, it's a point. Call. And switch directions. Halfway through. Stay with it. I know the shoulders are getting tired. Stay with it. And switch directions again. 10 seconds remaining. And three, two, one. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. So I'm going to go with a lighter shade of green. Kind of like a lime green. Hey, welcome in, Ryan. Welcome to Coach Ball Games PE class. And I got 65. So right here, I go up top, way up there, and there's my light green for hula hoop. That's my six dot. What's number seven? You know it. Number seven is ping pong. That's right, ping pong. And if you want to, you can either ping pong this thing right up here with a ball, or you can ping pong a volleyball and, and, and volley it up and down. Either way, you can use a wooden spoon if you want to or a ping pong paddle. But we'll go 60 seconds. On your marks, get set, go. Twenty, twenty-one. You can use either hand. Oh, 34. So that's my best right now. Welcome in, Speedy. We're doing our ping pong drill. We've had a good workout. You can watch the replay on my YouTube tomorrow. If you showed up late. All right, very good. Keep going, keep going. Good job, Ryan. Good job, Speedy. Good job, Katie. Uh, Mike Fisher, Megan, Super Henry, Blake Cox, everybody. Stop! All right, my best was 34. So I'm going to go with a... I'm going to go with a dark blue. I've got this dark blue for my seventh. And I go 34 right there. And so there you go, seven dots. That's it. Then the next time we meet, which will be Monday, we'll do this again. Same colors, same drills, and hopefully they'll all be a little bit better. And then by the time we get to the end of our paper, we'll, we'll have created seven different lines, seven different colors. All right, joke telling contest. This is how we end our, our week of PE. If you've got a good joke, type it in. Let me hear it. Great job, by the way. That was a great PE class. 50 minutes of hard work. Hello, Dima. Baseball boy. Were you here the whole time, baseball boy? Did you get that whole workout in? Oh, good one. Little play on words here from Judge Jr. Never hit the ump. The umpire strikes back. <laughs> Coming in hot from Tampa, Florida. All right, baseball boy, you can watch the replay tomorrow uh, if you'd like. But it was a great workout. We, we were lifting. Let's lift. That's what we did today. How did the snowman build a house? It glued it. Get it? It glued. It glued it. Wow. That is coming in hot from uh, Dima, and that's really good. Uh, anybody else got a good joke? Nolan Ryan Jr., what did the pirate say when he turned 80? I'm 
matey. <laughs> That's really good. Uh, uh, I have never heard that one. And I'm going to say it's going to be really difficult to beat that one. I am, I am stealing that one for the rest of time. What did the pirate say when he turned 80? I matey. <laughs> I am going to be laughing at that one all year. Um, from the Firestones, the center fielder was wondering why the ball was getting bigger. And then it hit him. <laughs> that is really good. Uh, if you're just joining us, we just finished our workout. We start every day at 9, East, uh, 9 Pacific, noon Eastern, and this is our Friday joke telling contest. Great job, Dinger. We'll see you. Uh, we'll see you at Sandlot this afternoon. Um, uh, by the way, for those of you, uh, just a couple of uh, announcements. Uh, we're just going to be doing Monday through Friday PE now. So take your weekends, hang out with your fam. If you want to play a, a Sandlot game with your family. I highly recommend it. That's what we're going to be doing on Saturdays. But PE, PE will be Monday through Friday. And uh, please tag Coach Ballgame on any pictures or videos or things you might be doing, Sandlot games, things like that. Um, Sandlot is 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 Eastern, every uh, Monday through Friday, every weekday in the afternoon. And that's baseball specific. And as you can tell, I've been bringing in Major League Baseball players, awesome coaches to help us with that. So um, as far as both those classes go, any donations on Venmo or Zelle that you can give, we we thank you so much for those that have done it. Uh, at Coach Ballgame is the Venmo. Um, but I appreciate you supporting our classes through the Venmo, whatever you can give. It doesn't have to be much, if anything, but it keeps us going through the quarantine. Uh, back to the joke telling contest. Let's go with Global Freeze. Daddy, Mommy, and Kid Tomato are walking. Kid Tomato is too slow. Mommy to me to turn around steps on him and says, catch up. That's good. Catch up on the tomatoes. What's fast, loud, and crunchy? A rocket chip. That's really good from Billy D. I like that a lot. Um... Global Freeze says the interviews have been great at the Sandlot. Thank you for tuning in. Hey, this is great for moms and dads too, right? You guys can learn how to educate your kids. Uh, so tune in. It's it's right here in front of you on your device. So thank you for tuning in, guys. Um, da, 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 da. You might be a baseball nerd if you think the last words to the Star Spangled Banner are play ball. <laughs> Um, any others? Good, good. Awesome. Okay, gang. Great job. All of you again, have a great weekend and I'll see you at the Sandlot this afternoon for some hitting. Um, and don't forget Epic Trivia Sunday night with another major league baseball player, Dallas Braden. Bye-bye everybody.